All right, so Josh finished cleaning the fish. We have buffalo, uh, big mouth, big mouth buffalo, channel catfish, uh, long nose gar, and sheephead. Right? Yep. That's All right. So now he's gonna create the brine. So we're gonna watch him do that. Ooh, fun. Okay, so I normally do brown sugar to salt, like 50-50. Um, I do dry brine, not a wet brine. I'm not really actually going to measure this out because it really isn't that important, but get it close. Brown sugar. Pretty. A bunch of salt. Wow. <laughs> this would kill you in two seconds. If my doctor is watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. But that was too much sugar, okay. <laughs> that was perfect, actually. Um, I use Chinese five spice. Okay. It smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas. So there's one thing I want my fish to smell like, it's Christmas. I don't know. I just put enough in to get good flavor. And some garlic. When you say some. I mean a lot, but I mean some, because I know people who put more on. That's... Well, there's the Christmas. That's the Christmas. Mixed with garlic, so... The Christmas at somebody's house who would Italian Christmas. Garlic. Then we're not going to use the triscuits, right? No, we're not going to use the triscuits. All right, I'm going to grab a pan. Crash. And we'll grab a big spoon. I want a bigger spoon than that. Into the drawer of wonders. Just go blind right in there. Drop my watch. Okay. Basically make a mess, huh? Yeah. You want to put some down first. Pretty even. And then you start packing the fish. So, that's a buffalo. Worst lasagna ever. Best lasagna <laughs> ever. And then cover it up again. And ideally, you try to keep this as flat as you possibly can so that it's not rumpled up in a little ball or something like that. Okay. All right, then the gar. Which, I'm trying to find nice little spots for it. Now, this was just from one gar, right? Yep, that's just from one gar. And not a huge guard either, just a, just a decent size one. I might need to mix more brine actually. Now well, we do have a lot of fish. And we do the drum. Now we left the skin on this one, on these. Yep. You can do this in a Ziploc bag too, but they tend to get you know, sort of rumpled up in a Ziploc bag. You might just make it. Got that catfish yet. Oh. Never mind. I think that answers the question. If I'm mm -hmm. gonna make okay, so I'm going to mix up some more. Okay, we mixed up some more. I don't really see a reason why you couldn't have a whole bunch mixed up if you wanted to. Don't really think there'd be any downside. No, I I mean it's all stuff that you store dry anyway, yeah. so I'd say probably just zip it up nice and tight so it doesn't I don't know, get the brown sugar will probably get real rock hard if you're not Probably, yeah. You so don't, uh, So you're just pushing it in the cavity? Yeah. And I'm going to have to repack these, move them all around tonight, probably. And then the catfish. 
which isn't a big a big guy. He's just a big guy. So what's going to happen after a couple hours? After a couple hours, all the mo well, not all the moisture, but a good amount of moisture is going to be drawn out, and these guys will get a tougher texture um, as it starts drying out any of the moisture in the meat. And then the drum I'm probably going to pull out, the fillets of the drum I'm probably going to pull out in about three or four hours. I'll look and see how they look. But they're really thin, so I think they're going to dry out really fast. Um, the catfish I'll probably leave in at 7 o'clock now. Probably leave all the stuff in until about midnight and pull them all out Okay. the rest. All right, so they all sit in the fridge. Do you put wrap over it then? Yep, okay. wrap over it. And we'll come back in a couple hours and you'll see it. There'll be liquid in the pan. And... Keep in mind, we didn't add any water, so any moisture or liquid in the pan is coming from the actual fish, which is kind of neat. All right. Well, we'll be back in a couple hours. What are we doing? So, oh, yeah. This is the brine. This has been about three and a half hours. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. So, all that liquid. That's, that's fish juice. I guess it's essentially lake water, if you think about it. Yeah. That, that's a juicy. So now I'm just gonna try to just see what we got. So you're just it's seeing it's definitely how... firming up. It's it, I'm just making sure that everything's covered and saturated. Like this catfish here, I'm gonna flip it over. So we're we're making lutefisk is what's happening here. No, there's no lie involved, and no one's gonna die. Oh. And it won't turn into. I dead. know. I've just offended everybody I know from Minnesota. But seriously. You don't have to eat it anymore. It was like designed so you could go across the ocean and it would then you would have food, but don't eat lie. Don't do it. Don't lie. I know, I know. I've been told that there's some good lutefisk. I've just never experienced it. I've always been like, what what, what are we eating? It's like fish. What were it? This is one of fish. Anyway. Well I gotta I gotta say that this right here doesn't look all that Appealing? Scrum deliumptious. No, it really doesn't. This looks really gross, and uh, I'm not really hungry right now at all. No. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to let it go a little longer, because it feels like it could do a little bit more. Okay. But So, maybe another hour? Maybe another hour. And then I'll pull everything out and set it out to sort of dry, and then tomorrow we'll smoke it. And we're going to have to wash these, really because they're going to cook really fast. So, so, after it comes out of here, then they'll get put on a plate or something like I'll that. I'll probably rinse them off and then put them in a bag or something for the night or just put them on a pan for the night and then tomorrow, probably about two hours before we smoke them, I'll set them out on oil racks. I'm going to you know, put them in the smoker and let them air dry. Okay. Alright, well. You, you want them, when you let them air dry, they get like a little it's like a rubbery feel to it. So. Well, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. Oh. Okay, so we had the fish in the brine, and hold on, there's an airplane. I get distracted. Fish Hi, out of the... We these have been brined. They have been brined. So these are all freshwater drum here. These are the gar here. Yep. And then over here we got uh, big mouth buffalo, little catfish, and then two drums that I just did whole. So, kind of like you would do on a sunfish. Yep. Okay. And they're super easy to scale. We figured out how to do that. Like super, super easy. Yeah, just a just a good uh, nozzle on the high on the pressure holes. hose. So, what kind of wood chips? Um, cherry. I cherry. think that's what I put right. in there. So it's at just a little over 200 degrees. Should be good. And I'm gonna put these on the top because I think the one's smaller. too close to the heat. And then we grab the other one. And I didn't scale the buffalo, no real reason to. No, you'll just peel that off. That's it. Alright, we got a tray of water down there in the wood chip bin. Yep. And, and how long, long will these be in there? I'm gonna check them in an hour, um, but I'm betting not much longer than an hour and a half to two hours tops. Right on. Okay. Ten 
tips right at about 250. That's good. Nice color on there. Oh yeah, that's not. Those look good to you? All nice and jerkified? That's good too. Okay. So that's done. Bottom was a little thicker, huh? Yeah, that cat's not done. The buffalo is not, not done. Still some juice there? Yep. Gonna roll that, yeah. Nice, nice. Anything another hour for those guys? Yeah. I'm not gonna move that though. That's gonna stick. Alright. So these guys are done now. How long do they have to cool? I let them cool for like a half hour or like 15 minutes. Okay. They bring them in. Alright. Oh yeah. I'd say the buffalo's done. Looking a little soft yet. That's the catfish? Yeah. You'll have to spatula that one. Seems like that one might need a little more, huh? So, woo, maybe not. It's just falling apart here. Well, it's cooked anyway.